What up, YouTubers? How are y'all doing? It's your boy, Nerdy Red 23 I'm here to talk about LL Cool J releasing his debut album, Radio, of November 18th, 1985. Happy 39 years to this classic, and it's still a rap and hip-hop golden classic right here. I'm still listening to it. <clears throat> and it was released through Def Jam Recordings and Columbia Records. It was also Def Jam's first full-length album release, and it released some really awesome singles, like... Rock the Bells, I Can Give You More, You Rock, I Can't Live Without My Radio. The album was recorded at Chung King House of Meadow in New York City with producer Rick Rubin, who provided a sparse, a sparse uh, minimal production style. The album also features uh, sound punctuated by DJ scratching, often brief samples, and emphasizes emphasis um, of the downbeat. Uh, LL aggressive uh, b-boy lyrics explore themes of inner city culture teenage promiscuity and braga dozio dozio rap braga dozio rap and significant sales of success for a hip-hop record at the time uh, the album became a billboard chart hit and sold over 500 thousand copies witnessing of its first five months of the release and by 1989, it had been certified platinum by the Recording Industry Association of America. For sales surpassing 1 million copies in the United States, initial reception of the album was generally positive, with praise given to LL's lyricism and Rubin's uh, production. It has since been recognized by critics as LL Cool J's best album. And it belonged to a pivotal movement in hip-hop culture, and history reflecting the new school and ghetto blaster subculture in the United States. During the mid 1980s, the album's success contributed to the displacement of the old school with the new school form and to the genre's mainstream success during this period. It was <clears throat> also a career breakthrough for LL Cool J and Rick Rubin. Um, radio has been recognized by music journalists as one of the first artistically cohesive and commercially successful hip-hop albums in history this album will always be a classic man it's a classic forever by LL Cool J <clears throat> so you definitely got amazing hits on this album right here so <clears throat> you got songs like I can't live without my radio you can't dance dear you bet I can give you more dangerous Rock the Bells, I Need a Beat Remix, That's a Lie, Yo Rock, I Want You, all amazing classics by LL, man. This is an absolute Def Jam record right here that you got to own in your collection. This is a classic by Mr. Smith himself. Love this album. And I'm still bumping it to this day. Here, I'll show y'all the LP. And I got it from a record store called Porta Sound Record Shop a few years back. Happy to own it too. That was the last one. I was so glad, man. It it was just one copy left. I'm so glad I copped it. Shoot, I couldn't leave that. This is a golden ticket album by Mr. Smith. Cool J. This is a classic. This is golden forever. For 39 years old, this is still gold. No doubt about it. This is a classic. I mean, come on now. For rap and hip hop from back then? Come on. I like that radio look, that ghetto blaster. I love the radio look. It's super dope. That's why it's called I Can't. Just ignore the glitch. That's why it's called I Can't Live Without My Radio. What is your favorite song off this classic gem by LL? Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. Comment, follow your boy Nerdy Red 23 for more videos. I'll be gladly to return back. God bless and stay safe, y'all. Keep bumping this album on your turntables, because that's what I'm going to do. Peace, y'all.